Hi sweeties, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, as you can see on the title, we'll, we'll be doing a soft glam makeup tutorial. I know it's going to be a kind of long video, so let's get started right now. Okay, first of all, the skincare. I already clean my face. I use the Chorus Greek Yogurt Cleanser. Also, yesterday I exfoliated. I just do that like each two every two weeks as my skin is pretty dry, and I don't like to put it to do pretty harsh things to my skin and my face. And now my skin is pretty soft. For me, that's one of the most important thing on Softland. The skin has to look perfect. As uh, the that's the focus, the contour, the the everything is more uh, the the skin. As uh, it is not a crazy eye look, it is pretty uh, soft. The eyes and everything, you will see that it is not. It will be more notice the face. Also, I want to let you know that soft line is not a natural look. It's completely different. Soft line it doesn't have any soft. It is pretty heavy. It has a lot of layers of foundation and concealer. It is not natural, which a makeup artist or someone like. Uh, that does makeup will notice. It is to let you know for you to be aware. I think it is called soft glam as it is pretty neutral. It has neutral tones, you use cold or warm uh, eye looks and everything, but it is not soft at all. I'm gonna hydrate my skin with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. In this kind of makeup, I do my my skin, my face first. As uh, the eye look is pretty soft, it doesn't have a lot of things, so it won't be any fallout on my uh, on my under eye. So I I'm not worried at all. Now I'm gonna use the Elf Hydrating Face Primer. Also, I usually use just one because it might get if. I am with makeup all day. My skin will get oily later, but soft glam is pretty matte. It, it even doesn't have a lot of highlight, just a little bit because that will make your face to, to look like you have more pores, more texture, and with soft glam the skin has to be like super even. For me that's not needed, for example Rocio Cervantes, she did an amazing job doing the soft glam on acne prone skin, but her skin, the thing is that the skin has to look healthy, it has to look beautiful, and she did that. It doesn't have anything to do about acne or maybe, I don't know, dryness, but and you have to make it look super healthy. After that, I will set my primer with the BYS HD primer. This is because it has to be matte, pretty matte. That's kind of difficult. The thing is that my nose is kind of dry, so I don't set it that much. It is dry at first, but then it gets oily. I think it's weird as I if I just finished the makeup my nose looks awful but then it looks kind of good but not that much because it's super oily I don't know it's weird and I hate that that's why I exfoliated a lot because for the dryness it starts to have like loose skin and that's that's not cute now I'm going to mix the the color pop no filter sticks the liquid one the no filter foundation not too much as i mentioned it is full coverage is a lot of makeup even when you think it is not it's funny because it's the same 
in the same shade I choose the same one because I thought it was the same but look that this is lighter than this one also I learned this from Jackie Aina that you blend in here and what is left on the brush you start blending on your nose but like don't apply product direct directly to your nose or it will look awful <laughs> And it is true because I've been trying, I will fight with my nose a lot as it is pretty where it is not dry, it is not combination, it is not oily, it is where I, I don't know, I, that's why I always try new skincare products because I'm trying to find the best for my skin. And what it works, I keep doing it, but I like to try new things for it to be like better. Okay, I'm gonna apply another layer. Just one more because I think I want more coverage, but not too much, just a little bit. Also, for my allergies, I have a little bit of redness on my nose and on my eyes. I just got a new dog and I discovered they have allergies for dogs. I'm, uh, I didn't know because I was six when I had my first dog and then I came to Colombia and I didn't have a dog anymore and well uh, my allergies stopped, but I thought that it was because uh, but I left Venezuela and I thought that it was because in Venezuela the water is contaminated. Also I thought that I was aller I had allergies for communism uh, and mostly I thought that it was the water, but when I left I started to think, oh, I'm allergic to communism. But now that I have a dog again, I think that I think that I'm allergic to dogs because when I didn't have one that it was almost two years, I didn't have any problem for allergies. I haven't had allergies since almost two years. I mean, as soon as I left Venezuela, I my allergies stopped. That's why I thought that it was a communism. Now I'm gonna complete this with my beauty blender. Look that it it has lots of layers, but it looks natural. I mean, your skin ha can have a lot of, of coverage or foundation, but you have it. You, the challenge is make it look like it is skin, like it is not a mask that you have on. With concealer, we're gonna go heavier. Why? Because if you have seen soft lamp makeup, you will notice that her under eyes are pretty illuminated, uh, her chin, her nose, her her forehead, I mean the most illuminating parts of the face are super there, like you have to notice. That's why the contour looks super perfect. So we're gonna go with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in light, uh, in light what? Light 10. And I'm gonna blend right away because this concealer dries pretty fast. I like it a little dry but not that much. Okay, so look at the difference between being super illuminated, already my eyes look more open and my face looks more sculpted and this side looks like pretty round pretty cute it looks i look like more girlier but here i look more sculpted that's what we want with soft lamp okay i will continue with our chin and a little heat beating here and on my forehead. I need a new concealer, okay? I need a new one right now. Also, I apply a little bit here. Let's 
Okay, so we are already pretty luminous. Now we're gonna go with bronzer. I'm gonna use the BYS blusher in perfectly peachy. And usually I do it with this brush and it looks more precise. I'm gonna do that later, but now I want I will take this brush with this fluffier. And I'm gonna apply it in this way. Okay, perfect. Now it looks pretty good. I'm gonna apply a little bit in here, like with this brush to be more precise. I'm gonna look super bronze because soft glam is super bronze, <laughs> but it is pretty cute. I don't know if there are some. MUAs looking at me here are makeup lovers that just pass makeup uh, something like that but uh, but I mean I started with soft lamp and I think that lots of the the content creators of makeup like me start with Sofla and then it went crazy to try new things because Sofla was like a lot. I mean, it was like for two years of Sofla and then boom, colors, boom, artistic makeup, boom, do crazy things. Uh, that's when I started like, damn, I have to keep on this. Now I'm gonna mix my bronzer, which is a blush too, and my my always blush, which is the Paula by Pau Tips. She's a Colombian YouTuber, and but it is super super pink. So as I don't want that because. Because that's not the blush that Saflam has, it's more peachy. And also, I try not using blush, but I think that I'm, I'm really trying new things because I'm trying to check if in this way it looks better the blush. And I think it does because it mixes with the the bronzer and uh, it gets a more peachy a peachier color instead of super super pink let's continue with the contour and for contour we're gonna do what I always do which is I take this brown, cool brown and we go with the contour 
and we blend it upwards. And after I did it, I take again the same brush with the one that we did the bronzing and I use the, this to for it to mix with the contour better. Now the nose also has to be super contour and I take my contour down my eyebrow and then when I do my eyes it will go with my crease too for like the contour nose is gonna look more perfect and more in there just by doing that Okay, here, and I like my Cupid's bow, like, so looking that it is pretty there. Okay, I'm gonna apply the highlighter later. Now, let's go with it. With the eyes, first of all, my eyebrows. I'm gonna do it with precisely my brow, my benefit. We want the eyebrows to look perfect, not super in there, but not super natural either. I will show you how I do it, which is what I do always because I don't like them to be like super false. But I don't like them to be super natural either because I don't really like my brows that much. I have cleaned my eyebrows. I put concealer uh, as a primer because as it is pretty neutral, I don't want to use the ABH one because it's pretty light for my skin tone. It's super Caucasian actually. So, I use a concealer and that's all. Now, I'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm gonna use my, my contour shade and I will use it to create my crease. As you can see, it is loading my contour into here. So, I try doing my crease up there also that will open my eyes and i don't need to cut my crease because it is already set in there with soft lamb i like to do like a pretty cut eye uh, makeup look so my eyeshadow goes there and my eyes look much better the inheritance from the ABH Riviera palette and I'm not gonna take that much because I want to keep it natural but I'm gonna wet the brush and put it right more on the end of the eye of my lid Put it in there and then what is left on the brush I blend it in into my eye. Okay, perfect. And we just take this brush again and we blend it so it looks more natural. 
I'm not gonna illuminate a lot my inner corner, just a little bit. Not that much. And then I'm gonna apply mascara and put some lashes. I was just gonna put some falsies, but the ones that I, the one that I have left because the rest of them died already. Uh, look, uh, it doesn't go well with this look, so we just gonna pass to lipstick, and I just put some dark brown pencil on my lips and I'm gonna blend it a little bit and I'm gonna put this pretty light nude on, on my lips I'm gonna take Inheritance by the ABH Riviera palette And I'm not gonna put a lot, I just took a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm putting it just like here for to be like in the front, super mad and cute and super, super mad and glam. And when it turn right there, you will see this beautiful highlighter. Now I'm taking some powder to illuminate even more my under eye. Okay, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial, uh, please remember to subscribe and click on the ring bell in order for you always to know when I upload any video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like the video or if you want any kind of tutorial or you want me to check on some product for me to review it and you try it later. I hope you like it, I really did. And well, that's all. Love ya.